What's up, man? What's up? What you guys doing? Oh, ow! What's going on? It's been a while since I did a full tour of my reptile sanctuary here at Camp Cannon, and lots has changed since the last time we went through the property. As you can see, I'm constantly working in the yard and on these habitats. So let's get things started, because today I'm going to show you everything in detail, both inside and out. We sincerely thank all of you happy campers out there. Your support makes a real difference in our efforts here at Camp Kennan. This week's special shout out goes to longtime supporter, Oliver Cooper. Thank you for all you do and for loving reptiles. Whoa, what's going on everyone? Kennan here and uh, we got a lot to do today. So I figured why not bring you guys along for the ride, show you what's going on. You pretty much see everything I have today and everything that I've got to do. And here is the female rhino iguana who bashed her little face up. The first thing I gotta do is we have to do some injections and give her some medication. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. And also, I'm gonna give her a little bit of food as well. I'm gonna soak a few of these pellets and uh, we'll let those soak while I'm giving the injection. Basically, even though she's gonna get a little needle, she's also gonna get a little treat at the end and uh, hopefully she'll calm down. Um, you can see this is her little hospital room inside my office. So what I have to do is I have to gently get her and then I'm gonna wrap her up in this. But first what I wanna do is make sure that I've got the septazidine, the antibiotic all ready to go. So you just wanna push out a little bit of the air that's in there and boop, boop, there you go. So we got that and then this is an oral pain medication that we're gonna squirt in there. And then I've got another antibiotic right here. It's just amoxicillin we got to draw up 0.3 mLs of that, uh, and that's going to fight some of the other bacteria. There's a few different kinds of bacteria, and different antibiotics work with different bacteria. She's uh, definitely become used to me and used to this routine. All right, and actually, to be honest, guys, when I put the food right out of here, she sees it and she comes out. So that shows you that she's doing much, much better. Um, I posted on Instagram a few days ago showing you guys what's going on with her. So she's definitely getting better. She's, you know, look, she sees the food. I want her to come out here. It'd be easier for me to grab her. I hate having to do it, but as you guys know, this is a necessary thing that needs to happen. So she's going to come out, grab something. Go ahead, girl. She's definitely a, uh, a good eater. I was actually able to get some of this into her mouth without having to grab her. The thing is, is I've got to grab her because we got to do an injection. So I'm going to go ahead and get on that right now. Um, I just go slow with her. Come on. Oh, she's getting so spunky now. Come on, here's food. So what I like to do is just gently grab her. And we gotta be careful. Oh, God, she's so tough. I don't wanna hit her face. Oh my gosh, there you go. There you go, I just gotta do this. That, oh, of course she hit that. So you just wanna restrain her a little bit. I take the towel because sometimes she defecates on me. The other thing I like to do with the towel is you can kind of take it and wrap her a little bit. And this keeps you from getting scratched up pretty badly. And I know, sweetheart, I know. So again, guys, you know, this is just a necessary part of taking care of this lizard. And um, you want to just let her wiggle out a little bit. She puffs up, as they do. But you want to find just a little fold of skin like this. Okay, you want to just give a little fold right there. And luckily for us, what we got to do with the needle is you just gently go in just underneath the skin. They call it a subcutaneous injection and it can go anywhere and that's that. So while I've got her, I'm also going to give her oral meds real quick. She'll open her mouth here. Very easy. See, I'm not pressing on it. I'm just putting it right there. Squirt it in. That's the first one. She drinks it up. No problem. And then we're going to give her the second one. That's it. 
Now, I'm gonna go ahead and put the food back in her enclosure so she can eat in peace. And we don't have to spend any more time handling her than necessary. I'm gonna put her right up there. So there you go, sweetheart. And that's that. Her injections are done. And uh, we can move on to the next chore of the day, which there are plenty of things for us to do. Okay, let's throw these away, put this back in the fridge. So much, as you can see, I've made a mess in my office. Oh, we got Leo. Leo's out, Leo's playing. He's, you done with school? Yeah. Wow, that's a good job. Kids done with school already. So yeah, everyone's studying from home, mom's working from home. We got a lot going on and uh, it's just been crazy. And I'm sure it's crazy in your guys' homes as well. Let's get outside. Oh, look, look at the nature. Little curly tail lizards. These guys are actually from the Bahamas and they have established themselves here in South Florida. We also have, okay, it's also to uh, say what's up to the cichlids. These guys are great. Let's give them some food. They see me come out, they get excited, they want some food, no big deal. Uh, I don't have a lot of food left in here, I don't think. So I'm gonna dump the rest of the food in here and then refill this container with some more aquatic fish food. There you go. Here you go, guys. Ooh, a lot of dusties. Look at that. Is that two or what? alligator snapping turtle uh, video. Uh, some of you may have noticed a turtle, another turtle in that pond. Uh, you guys have eagle eyes. Uh, I did in fact focus on the turtle. It was one of the fly rivers. I have two fly river turtles in there now. I've been keeping them in this uh, pond. They're having fun in here and I think they're a really cool species to have in there. So that's what I'm doing. I just keep those guys chilling out in that pond. Let's, uh, let's see what needs to be done today. Uh, I know I got to do a little lawn mowing today. I've got to do, what else do I got to do? I got to do some tree trimming, but don't worry, we'll time lapse all that stuff. You guys don't have to suffer through those chores with me. But we are going to see all of the ponds, all of the turtles, uh, just showing you guys, everybody here. I guess it's a tour. I guess it's a tour. It's a chore. It's a chore tour. Gosh, I feel a little bit like Mr. Rogers. Except instead of coming home to go inside, we're getting our shoes on, rather boots on, to go outside. will not you guys be my neighbor? All right. So we are uh, just doing a little preliminary walk around, just making sure everything's good. This is what I like to do every morning. I come on out and I just check on everyone. Up, got to pull that food out. Let's do that. Get that food out of there. These are the blue iguanas. These guys rule. So beautiful. Look at her. Oh, don't be shy. Come on. And then there's the male bobbing his head. These guys are doing great. They'll wind up going to a cool new habitat eventually. Let's get some of this uneaten food out. It rained really hard last night. So uh, any uneating food has turned into um, gack. Blech. Smells horrible. All right, those guys are good. Let's put that there for a second. Lock you guys up. Uh, there is the gator pond looks pretty dry. Don't worry. We did get some rain There's plenty of water in there still though believe it or not for the bad finis that are in there and the Mata Mata Here we are in the back of the recreation pond This is where All the redfoots are There are 28 redfoot tortoises in this enclosure Look at this And then of course the most famous red foot I have, it's Lego. Lego's doing great, goofy, but uh, well, you know, she's doing her thing. Eats like a champ. So, let's wander out over here. I wanna actually get rid of this nonsense first, if you guys don't mind. So we're gonna take a detour 
over here, these guys are coming in and out perfectly of this indoor shelter. See, a few tortoises there. They have all that room. So there's plenty of room for them. And here are the snow leopards or blonde leopards. They're hanging out, getting warmed up for the day. There's a little sunbathing going on. It's pretty good. I did a little straightening up, moved some rock yesterday, cleaned up some of the garbage from all these little chores I had going on. Hey, look, it's Hercules. This is kind of how I figure out what needs doing. Um, I just like to wake up, walk around, check everybody out, make sure there's no uh, issues with anybody. There's Herc's. Hercules, what's up, man? All right. And then let's go on over and see Lagatha. Make sure she's doing good. She's so beautiful. She's been calming down more. There's her enclosure. Oh, she's right up top. She's right up top. This lizard is incredible. Hey, Laggy. She likes when you call her Laggy. Laggy, Laggy Lou. You got to sing to her as well. So there she is. She's so beautiful. Um, I'd say she's been calming down nicely. I don't, you know, I could get this thing closer and she'll probably puff up a little bit, but um, she's a beautiful lizard. Very stoked to have all oh, it's okay, baby. I'm not gonna I'm not going near you. This is close as we'll go She gives you a little hiss, but uh, no tail whips. She hasn't charged at me. I can actually sit in here um, Pretty you know, I'm kind of close. I could kind of hang out with her now But you want to keep one eye on her. She just doesn't like when people upset her Come charging in and she is blind in that left eye. So she's a little bit more nervous um than normal if you're on that side of her so let's rotate to this side but uh yeah she's doing well she's fat and happy she gets to move around this enclosure the whole day long i'm glad i put in some of these uh so i'm glad i screened this whole thing in okay even the bottom because she does dig so it's very important guys if you're keeping monitors or any kind of lizard uh, I have screen that runs the whole bottom of this so that she cannot dig out. So there is Lagatha. She's doing very well. All right, we'll let you do your day, babe. Okay, so there's Laggy Lou. Uh, Kate comes out and sings to her all the time, which is kind of funny. I think uh, Kate's voice can soothe the savage beast. Lock that up three ways. Uh, I might as well show you this. So here is the new enclosure that we've been kind of chilling out I'm waiting on um, just kind of waiting on the new screen to come in he don't like me all he does is bark at me I don't know why anyway this is the new uh, enclosure but this is also my pull-up bar I have a little janky uh, usually I go to the gym but this is my uh, kind of home workout area as well. So each one of these is gonna be a new habitat for each pair of Cyclora. We're gonna build a fourth one right here. I uh, just gotta get myself motivated to do that. So I'm waiting for the new screen because this screen we felt was just a little bit too thin. So I'm gonna go ahead and screen this over with a heavier duty screen. Uh, what else is good about it is it kills the little horse flies that get caught in it. That's nice, sorry guys. Don't want horse flies so we'll get back to that in a little bit you know as far as getting that thing up and running i should have the materials here uh in may and then it should be done not long thereafter i get those materials here's some little toads popping around little tiny toadlet crazy huh they're all over this time of year these guys are uh changing out so okay changing out meaning metamorphosizing uh wait i want to go check on our Iguanas that I put um, in these enclosures. Let's see how they're doing. Let's see if I need to pull out their food. Probably do. Oh, I think they're hiding. They are definitely hiding in their cave. These guys are still very shy. Yeah, I got to pull that food out too. Um, yuck. I was feeding them on a paper plate, but yeah, these guys are... 
most likely uh, hiding in the cave. There they are. There's one. So yeah, they're in the cave. There's both of them actually. Very good. They're kind of hiding together. So once it warms up a little bit, it's kind of earlier morning still. Once it warms up, they're going to come on out and uh, do their thing. But again, there's not been a lot of nose rub there, which is good with this enclosure. Got the uh, water turns on, overflows, gives them a nice little fresh drink. So they're hydrated. I really can't wait till I can move these big enclosures because I've got a lot of cool ideas that I want to do to these. I really want to take my time with them and do something awesome. Um, get these guys going. That'd be perfect for the snakes, I think, to do some really cool snake enclosures in there. All right, as we move over here, we've got the baby rhinos. Got a few of these little guys left. We got Leon somewhere. There he is. Leon, what's up, man? And then, of course, baby tortoises are in here hiding out. Let me toss this again. These baby tortoises are hiding out here. They're most likely, yep, lots of elongated. They're doing very well. So everybody's just chilling out in this early morning. I was soaking them yesterday. Uh, and then here is Turbo, the turtle, the diamondback terrapin. He's in there somewhere. We got to get him out into a new place. Hey, look who it is. Here are the two rhinos we built the new enclosure for. They're stumps, crazy Sophia. She's doing much better. She doesn't freak out too badly. And her face looks good, thank goodness. She's still a little wonky, man. Let's go check in on Slinky. Right now, you, oh, I always say this, guys. You know, I always tell you about how the water um, runs. So right now we're in the middle of seeing the water run. So you guys can have a look, see how clean and nice that water is. By the afternoon, once it stops, what happens is the heat of the day causes the algae to rise to the surface. So if I do videos during the later part of the day, uh, that water just looks funky, but it's running. It runs for about an hour. So it really filters through um, with fresh water. And here he is. The Slinks. What's up, Slinky? Say hello to everyone. No food. You ate two days ago, and you had a lot of food, dude. So he ate a bunch of fish the other day. There he is. God, I love this. Listen, look, he's shedding. So that means he's getting bigger still. You're still growing, Slinks. That's good. I love it. This guy is definitely a uh, good friend of mine. I love him so much. Look at how you can really just hang out with Slinks. I mean, it's incredible. Ooh, scratch his ear, scratch his ear. That tympanium, it looks like it wants to shed. See, look at this, guys. It's going to shed. I knew just by the feel. There you go. Get that. It's probably itchy, right? Probably itches. God, I love him. Is that a beautiful animal or what, people? Look at him. Just waking up, getting a little early morning sunbathe going on. I like to rub that dead skin off of them. Yeah, Slinks. We are going to do some really cool thing to Slinky's enclosure. I mean, this place is gonna get a full on total upgrade. Um, what's happening is when I go in with Guapo and Lola, those guys are gonna go into that new iguana cage that I'm doing. And um, that leaves that whole side empty which means we can use it for slinks. Right, Slinky? So Slinky is gonna get a lot of room. Now, I don't know, man. I, I may wanna jackhammer all this out. A lot of work, and then I was talking to Ed at Aquascape. What do you think? Should we build an Aquascape pond for Slinky? One with a filter and real rock, and I'll put fish in it, and basically Slinky will have uh, pretty cool habitat in here. What do you guys think? Should I do that? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Let me know. Let me know if we should build a whole new pond and habitat for Slinky. I think he's worth it. What do you guys think? All right, Slink, we'll see you on the outside on the return. Oh, yeah. See, so we did a feeding, some collards. So what I want to do is I want to clean up. That's why you come in here. We get all that rotten food out of here. Um, and we kind of go for it. Now, speaking of lunatics, 
How about the Chinese box turtle? And then look who's poking out. Hey, girl. Hey, Lola, come on out here. Because look who's already out. Guapo. And he is doing awesome. Oh, you're coming out? Come on out, kid. I love how curious they are. They always want to know what I'm up to. They see when I come in the room or the habitat. Um, they get really excited. Like, did you bring me food, Dad? Then I come in. We drain this. Ooh, it doesn't look good that appetizing does it i pick all this nonsense up and uh i'll wind up spraying this out you guys keep an eye on her while i do this just get up any uneaten food and we just make it super easy i love this lizard man is she beautiful she is just so gorgeous and then of course come on man it does not get better than this lizard uh he is doing amazing he is just uh recovered from his little impaction hey buddy hey buddy he's still the big dog here oh look at how handsome he looks oh, i love coming out here and seeing everybody okay next you guys remember i recently redid this they are doing great my monkey tails but let's see what do we got what do we got sometimes it's easier to use these paper plates because you just grab them and throw them right away um but Look who's just hanging out right at the door. Uh, this is the sentry. He's making sure that no one comes into his lair. What's up, Solomon? Look at him. I just love that he is in this really cool hide box that I was able to create. That is a rad lizard. Let's go ahead and see if the gal's in there. Yeah, look, they're together. There they are, both of my monkey tails are hanging out. These guys tend to be more nocturnal. They come out at night um, and then they just kind of explore. I need to do a video of the camp at night. I think that would be really awesome so you guys can see how this place comes alive. Even when the sun goes down, there's a lot of activity here. So there they are, looking good guys, all right? So everyone's healthy there. This is just some of the things you have to do. You got to wake up and every morning you have to come out and make sure that everyone's functioning and doing their, you know, doing their normal routine. This is how you know they're healthy. Uh, so you don't have any issues. All right, Guapo, Lola. All right, let's go see over here. Remember, this is a little bit of a tour too. I want to make sure everyone's healthy and happy. So let's, uh, let's peek in here. You guys are going to have to tell me how it's going. Hold on. Um, Hey, what's up, guys? Are you in there? Is there a snake in there? Can you guys see anything? Oh, yeah, there's the blackhead python. He looks okay to me. This guy got a nice big rat a few days ago, as did our next critter. You guys really don't see these guys too much, do you? Let's, uh, let's show you. How about it? There are... These are the, oh, the Timor pythons are hiding out. Hey guys, is there a head? Can you guys see a head anywhere? I'm really just stretched out. Hey, there's a head. What's up, man? What's up? What you guys doing? Oh, ow, why would you do that? Are you guys okay? Holy smokes. I guess he's not in a good mood. We must've woke him up. Sorry, bud. Sorry about that. Try not to bite up. Ow, come. Nah. All right. I'm going to take that as they do not want to be disturbed. So how funny is that? Guys are crazy. Timor pythons are really, really cool. Uh, beautifully colored uh, snake. And I guess we won't make them strike again. So there you go. Awesome. Okay. Well, hmm, they're in good mood. Uh, I'm glad I don't have to do anything with them. Because they would for sure be going after my hand all right okay look a little brown animal these are actually non-natives man those are cuban brown anoles and it came over in plants and stuff like that and now we've got hundreds of millions of them here in florida okay so how about our hog island boas we got a his and a hers section his and hers there you go these guys are great so they're a real beautiful snake. They're just hiding out inside this little wooden wooden uh, hide. Now, some of those glass enclosures you saw, those um, the zoo enclosures, I'm gonna redo them, and all these snakes are gonna wind up living in those. 
uh, once I get them moved. They're so heavy, I need a machine to move them. Once I can move them and get them set up on a platform, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that we get the snakes in there. And then I can use these enclosures for hatchling lizards and stuff like that. All right, let's get this garbage out of here. Um, it's gonna be tricky because I need, I need my hands. Oh, this is trickiness. Hold on, guys. Deal with me. Hey, look, Sophia's out. What's up, Sophia? Hi. I'm kind of giving everyone a, a idea of what I do during the mornings when I get all the animals ready. There he is. Now, when he's on the ground, he gets a little nervous because he thinks that I'm going to step on him. So I may get a little whip as I walk back here. But yeah, there, there you go. I guess not. Thanks, sugar. Oh, you're the best. That is a good pal right there. Let's put this over here. All right. Well, I got to shut this one, B. Okay. <clears throat> so, moving right along. We'll keep on this uh, little adventure. You want to come with me, Self? All right, let's go. So, back here. Spider. Yeah, oh, there are spiders. We've got my buddies uh, elongated and cherry heads. These guys are going to be moving out soon. They have this whole back enclosure. Um, they're going to be moving back to their home. My buddy was just rebuilding their enclosure for the last few years. He bought a new house and he had to get things ready. So he's actually going to be taking those soon. Uh, here are the my rhinos. They're awesome. And then, of course, Pinky. Hey, Pinky. She's in her house. Hey, Pinks. Come on out. Come here, Pinky. She's, she, she's coming out backwards. She's so funny. There she is. She's loving her new home. Uh, she's got a lot of space now, which is good. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. Really cool. Uh, over here are the cherry head tortoises. So what do I got to do? I got to spray this out today. I'm going to spray out their water. Now I do have an um, overflow where a little hose fills it up and it comes on every day, but I've got a lot of pine needles and uh, I see some mosquito larvae, so I'm going to spray that out. Mosquito larvae, they turn into mosquitoes. They're these little things. You ever see them? See these little things swimming around right there? Those, are, uh, those turn into mosquitoes. So we've got to make sure we spray this out to make sure those guys die, because we, we know you don't like mosquitoes. Not at all. All right, so here's some cherry heads. This little guy, if you remember, had the prolapse of his uh, penis, and uh, he's doing well. He's all fixed up. That was many, many, I think almost a year and a half, two years ago. Here's another little cherry head, and then another one right here. And these guys are a little bit dirty right now, but if we were to wet their shells, you'd really get to see how beautiful they are. Here is Petro hanging out. What's up, Petro? He's still hanging out, babe. He's still sleeping. He's a, a late riser. And then, of course, there's Petra. She's right there. Or is that Petro? And is that Petra? Wait a second. Who's who? Yeah, that's Petra. And that's Petro. Wow. And Petra is like Leo. Petra is like who? Leo. How? Because he wakes up later. Oh, he wakes up later. She's ratting out her brother. Okay, over here is the house for the cherry heads. See that? And then we also have my elongated tortoises. You guys saw their babies a little while ago. Um, there's 25 elongated tortoises in here. Uh, they actually get to walk around this whole area. Um, it's perfect for them. We'll get the mangoes from up here. They fall down in just about another month, uh, so there'll be plenty of food. Be careful now, we got those spiders here that give us a good bite, so you be careful. I'll walk first. So there are spiders, and I've been bitten, but I don't know what spider it is, but they bite. I gotta spray this out today. Um, gosh, there's a lot to do today. This was the old habitat for the redfoots, and this whole area now is empty. So um, I'm going to do something with it. I don't know what I'm going to turn it into. It should be pretty cool, though. So we'll get to that one day. There's always something to do, and there's plenty of room here. So now let's wander over this way, our little cactus garden. What do you guys know? There's all the radiateds out and about doing their thing. Make sure these guys are not flipped over. All right. Looking good, guys. Looking good. How many radiates do we have? Do you remember? Eight. 
eight. We have eight radiated. So there's four here, two there, and then there's two way over there. Awesome. So here's the front. Uh, here's Sophia's pond. We got to put something cool in this. This is looking really good these days. No, and we have any fish in it? No, we have a couple fish in it. But then we walk up here, and here's one of the Chinese, or rather, excuse me, this is the Malaysian, a Malaysian box turtle. These guys love to hang out in shallow water. You'll find them in rice paddies in their natural habitats in their native land. Sometimes I find them in there, in the uh, biofalls. Here's another biofalls to our original aquascape ecosystem. All right. So this is cool. Isn't this fun stuff? We're on a little adventure showing everybody what I do every morning, making sure the animals are good. Okay, in here are the Borneans, Borneesis, the Badiger Borneesis. Let's see if we can see them down in there. There they are. She thinks they're pig nose. She thinks they, they have a pig nose, but I tell her that's not a pig nose turtle, but that's her little nickname for them. So they're actually the Badiger. And then here are all the fish. We put a lot of the fish from Sophia's pond in here. There's my Oscar, little patio pond going. We got a stream. Where's my stream, man? There it is. Check out the stream. This thing's awesome. The tortoises come here, they get a drink. I even see the Malaysian box turtles in here. These guys are doing great. We got flowers going. There's the last radiata. We got a bunch of mangoes starting. They're good to eat. I like mangoes, don't you? I haven't had one before. She hasn't had one before. Watch your step, kid. See you next fall. <laughs> All right, uh, here we go. Let's see. You know them, you love them. Look at the three amigos right here. There's Nostradamus, Socrates. Say ah, say ah, Darwin. Come on, you know you want to. She usually wants to take a bite out of the camera, but I think she's getting smart. She's getting wise to me, but there's Darwin. So these three are doing great. Uh, here's their habitat. We gotta get water in there. I've got an immense amount of things to do today. Good grief. So um, you guys are gonna see it all because I got a time lapse, but we're gonna get through it real quick so you guys don't have to suffer. All right. Woods. All righty. Let's see the sulcatas. Come on, Soph. Should we open the gates too? Probably should open the gates, huh? It's my little buddy. She follows me around. I take her on little adventures. Both these kids are so much fun. All right, here. It, well, let's go see these guys first before I open the gates. No one wants to see us opening gates. They want to see the tortoises. So again, they're just waking up, getting moving. Here's Lumpy. All right, you remember Lumpy was really, really sick last year. And uh, now he is doing awesome. And there's his buddy Brutus, another one of our males. We got two males here. Hey, Brutus, what are you gonna do? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, he's having a sniff of the camera. And then Lumpy's just being shy. And then of course, there are all the gals right there, just hanging out. They're gonna start pouring out of here because... Oh, she does, huh? She's a good girl, that one. She's a sweetheart. Look at her go. What a sweetie pie. I think she knows you love animals. All right. And then in there are all the other guys and girls. Well, actually girls, there's no other guys. As I just said, there's only two. Should we walk, should we show them around the pond? Yeah, we never go around the big pond. So I got to trim these uh, branches off today. Ooh, yikes. What else? Let's go around the pond. Oh, here's the electric wire. Ah, you know how. I take you and throw you over. Oh, God, oh, so let's like, oh, I touched it. I actually touched it, but we didn't get shocked. Very cool. All right. He did. Our nephew got shocked, her cousin, my nephew. Boy, he wasn't happy. All right, so here's the pond, everyone. So this is a different vantage point. I don't know if you guys actually see this we often. We actually fly, because we were running around the, the, the whole thing to see um, how long it took. Yeah, so here we are. 
Uh, again, just a different area you guys can see. Uh, just a different vantage point from the old habitat, the old pond. So uh, there's, yeah, they're in there somewhere. Um, all right, man. This is pretty much a good walk around. So what I'm gonna do next is I am gonna go do my chores for the day. So uh, sit back, relax, and uh, you finished school already? This kid's amazing. What an amazing child. But look at this, these guys keep the uh, grandest, the giant Asian wood turtles, they keep this all mowed for me, which is pretty nice. But there's a lot of space back here. It'd be nice to one day be able to do something unique in this area. Um, there was, there was a bunch of water here. So it overflows, so the pond rises up and flows back here and then all the water goes out that way. But the turtles love it because they can kind of walk through all that water. Here is the cypress. A little cypress area here and these cypress knots now keep me from having to drive my tractor through here the little lawn mower so that's pretty cool i don't have to mow in here anymore little lizards running sometimes we see basilisks and then guys we're gonna wind up back in this area so you can see the big rhino enclosure the new uh iguana enclosure over there the back side of the gator pond we can look at that Come on, Soph, can you make it over this? Can you get over that, kid? Yeah, you got it. Not a problem. Very athletic. Uh, some junk I gotta move. But look at how dry, huh? Dried up. We're gonna make bridges across to the island. But in a month, you're gonna see more water than I know what to do with because once that rain starts cooking, it is on. All right, everyone, we just pretty much did our morning walk around. I know now what I gotta do got a little yard work to do we've got some tree trimming we've got some water bowls to fill up i'm gonna get on that stuff right now to make sure these animals have a nice healthy life and we are back and look at who that is oh it's the wife she's not working she's just chatting with somebody so there you go um kind of an update showing you guys what i've done what i have to do there'll be more builds more things changing here at the camp. So I hope you guys stick around and enjoy it. And more importantly, we'll be giving some new animals some really cool homes. All right, everyone, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you later. Hope you guys enjoyed a little hanging out with me, seeing some of the critters. Those are my favorite critters right there. And uh, well, time for me to get to work. See you guys later. <laughs>